I've got a Honda EU2000i uh, inverter generator, uh, which I bought new, and I really like it a lot. However, there's a couple little things that I didn't really care for, and it didn't come with an hour meter, so I installed one. Uh, first of all, I put one, uh, which you can find on Amazon or different things, different places, uh, a little uh, different colored one, it's LED, it's uh, real simple to install, uh, in fact I even got a little bracket here off eBay, which I'll put a link to, you can get it. Uh, this is the hour meter, and it actually just installs uh, very simply on the spark plug by wrapping around the spark plug wire. Uh, it works pretty good, however, what I didn't like about it, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but it shows the hours, whether it's running or not, so it means it's got a battery in it. I didn't like the idea that the battery is going to eventually one day go out, and then I wouldn't have my iron meter. So I want to go back to the old trusty, reliable, uh, mechanical hour meter. And I really like that option better, because I know that they're reliable over many, many years of use. Most machinery's got them. And I wanted to keep that there because I want to keep track of my hours over long term. So I went ahead and kept this one on there. Uh, and we'll see how long it lasts. But I know eventually, uh, if it's got power to it to keep the LED going, it's going to eventually run out of battery. Uh, the low, most people just put those up here, stick them on. They got a backup tape uh, that just sticks on the top. But I like this little bracket here for it. Uh, so I bought these together. After I found out it stayed on all the time, it uh, needed power internally, so uh, that's when I went ahead and ordered the hour meter that goes up here. And if you'll see, uh, of course what I did, I cut a hole in the top, and it just comes down through the bottom. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. It goes next to the carburetor. Just make sure you move it over far enough here that it doesn't actually hit the carburetor because if you drop it down and hit the carburetor then you got to have a gap up here at the top so just make sure you move it over far enough that the hour meter which drops down will have room and miss the carburetor. It was really pretty easy to install. Uh, I cut the hole first at the top and set it down. Uh, of course it needs power to run. The model hour meter I have uh, I, don't see, I don't know if you can see very good, there's two wires. This is the 12 volt model, which needs 12 volts to operate. So the generator will make 12 volts. If you come to the front, uh, you know you've got a 12 volt outlet here. So in order to run it, I needed to tie in with this 12 volts here to run the iron meter, and it only comes on when it runs. So what I did, just remove the four screws on the top, on the front of the generator. Remove all four screws, and then this just kind of folds out. So what I did was, if you look down here, they got some of these little blue connectors. And what I did was, here's your 12 volt outlet right here and the wires were coming to it. I just used one of these little splicers. Uh, I used the blue ones for the size and spliced on two there with a new wire for the positive and another one for the negative. So I've got two of these and there's a hole back here and I went through that hole. Some people I think can go down in the bottom. Uh, there's an outlet down here. To me it was easier to just run through this hole here. I run in through there, and on the side it come out way back up in the back. So I used the little uh, wire with a hook on it. I pushed when I pushed the wire through, I grabbed it and pulled it down. I run along the underneath side. I went through this little connector here that just holds your wire tight. I run on up and run it over to my hour meter itself. So it's attached. So now when I run the generator, it gets this 12 volt power from back over here, runs through, it powers the iron meter, and it works great. And like I said, these are very reliable. 
so I was worried about this, but I went and left it on there since I had it just to see how long it would last. It might last a year or two or three, I don't know, but eventually it's going to go out. Uh, then you have to start all over with zero hours. I want to know how many hours total, because uh, I plan on keeping this generator for a long time. So I went ahead and got the regular 12 volt hour meter, which should last pretty much years and years and years, or as long as the life of the generator, hopefully. Uh, so. Anyway, that's the uh, what I did. Like I said, I just I use a Dremel to cut the hoe out for this here. Again, just warning, just to make sure it clears the carburetor when you drill your hoe. And you can line it up and see uh, where it is. I marked it, and I don't remember what the dimensions were, but when you, uh, it's easy to figure out because your hour meter is. Um, Measure, just measure the size, I mark it off with pencil and then cut it out with a Dremel.